hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome this is Kanisha with currency queen budgeting I am a zero based cash budgeter in today's video we will be doing my monthly closeout if that is something that you're interested in stay tuned <music> I decided to use my book to do my monthly budget um, and I'm kind of excited to see what I have saved for this month so let's get to it this is just my budget by paycheck book it is a plum color which I really love this I am really in love with it but let's get started okay so this will be for the month of April and you guys know I will I will get all of this filled in and I will fast forward it Okay, so I really had to go back and look at my car magnets to see how much I started with because I didn't, I'm looking at a, I'm looking at my form from March and logging this down. So I didn't have car magnets on there for some reason last month, but I did have to go back and look at it. So... Let's get started and see what we have here. So for emergency funds, let's count this. I just broke that off. A little rough. I'll fix it later. So we have 50, 100, 150, 250, 350, 450. For family time. We have 5, 10, 20, 30. For clothing, We have five, fifteen, twenty five. For self care, we have five, ten, twenty, thirty. For beauty, we have twenty forty. For car. 
car maintenance. We have 10, 20, 30. For vacation. No. Did I not write? Okay, 30. Just getting ahead of myself here. For vacation. We have 5, 15, 25, 35, 55. Texas, we have 20, 4 savings, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50. Christmas, we have five. And for St. Jude, we have a total of five fifteen. Fifteen dollars in St. Jude's. Okay, for our beginning total we started with six hundred and thirty five dollars so i actually went back and redid the math on that we did not begin with six hundred and thirty five dollars we began with five hundred and ninety dollars i looked at my sheet from march and with which i changed up a lot of things since then so that's why the total is actually changing okay so we're going to take 450 minus 300. I'm sorry, that is wrong. 450 minus 350. That's $100. 30 minus 5. 25. So if you guys are wondering what I am doing, I'm taking my ending balance, subtracting it from my beginning balance. And that is how I am getting the total for my difference. Okay, so let's move on to clothing. 25 minus 15 is a total of $10. Self-care, we ended with 30 and we started with 15. So we added a total of $15. For beauty, we ended with 40. We start with nothing, so we had a total of forty dollars for car maintenance. We have thirty. We started with ten, so that was twenty. Vacation fifty-five minus thirty is twenty-five. Taxes 20 minus 150. Here we took out 150 to pay our taxes in the middle of April. So therefore we don't have that 150 anymore, but we did add $20 on our last pay period. Okay, for savings, we had a total of $50. So that left us with 35. Christmas is five and this is 15. So I want to add up my ending balance.
Okay, $750 is what we ended with for here. Let's do our difference. So I have a hundred and fifty a hundred and sixty dollars for our difference for this month. Let's see. Seven fifty minus six thirty-five is one fifteen. This don't look quite right, but let me add it again. It may be right. Okay, seven fifty. So what I will do so seven fifty minus six thirty five is one fifteen. Let's see. At 130, I'm still getting 160. Okay, so we're going to write 160 here. So we stuck a total of. 160 is what I'm getting difference in our sinking funds for the month of April I hope this is right I think I'm going to go back and try to figure out and make sure I did all of this correctly because I feel like I'm just confused right now <clears throat> and it may be right I'm not sure but I will go back before I fill out this part to make sure I am doing this correctly because I feel like something is just off right now but I, I just feel like it's, it's just wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have subtracted this 130 here. Because I know I stuff more than $160 in my savings funds. I mean, sinking funds. Okay, because here we stuffed two hundred and ten dollars, and here we stuffed one ninety. So yeah, I think I did something wrong, but I really want to figure this out. So give me one minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> So I got 190 plus 210, have 400. I really don't know what I did wrong. Did I count 
anything wrong? Am I thinking too much into this? I'm, I'm not sure, but I think I've really, really just confused myself. I am really confused. You know why? I just realized I'm not counting my dead snowball. That's what it is, I think. Because I was putting money in my dead snowball. And I think I put 150 in there. Yeah, okay, okay. So that's it. I had money in my dead snowball and that made up a great amount for my sinking funds. So that's why I am kind of off here. I knew something was going wrong. I'm like, I know my math isn't crazy. No, I'm not crazy, but that's it for the month of April. So now we have a total of $750 in our sinking funds, which is still progress for me. So once we get this debt snowball pay paid off, I know I will be adding more to my emergency funds, but I'm still happy that I did get to save at least a little um and you know what this is not 160 let me add this up over again because this is not 160 <sighs> let's see if we can get this if we can get this right before this video is over y'all i guess i am sleepy I've had a long, long weekend. Okay. All right. Sheesh. Okay. These numbers look so much better. Where is my white out so I can fix this? Yeah, I'm better. They look so much better. I need to get myself in the bed. So oh, that is two ninety that we actually saved. That we actually yeah saved for this month. Two two ninety is our extra. But guys, I'm gonna get off of here because I just messed up almost this whole video. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. I mess up. You know, this is a great video and I'm going to keep everything in here. I'm not going to take none of the mistakes out. Nothing because you all know that I am just now starting. So this is definitely a learning video for me. So, I really appreciate you guys for stopping by, you know, hanging out with me, following my progress. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also, leave us a comment. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, too, so you can get notified when we post videos so you don't miss anything. And I appreciate you guys once again. And you guys know that I have this budget by paycheck on my Etsy store and I will actually do a quick flip through so you guys can see what I have in here not sure if you looked at my planner but it's gross so we have a few forms in here we have calendar for two years 
and you guys know I love my books and let me go run and get my book that I just bought that I have to write here so I actually have a new book that I will be reading up on because you guys know financial literacy is very important to me so what I purchased is this book a black girl's guide to financial freedom by Paris Woods I am so excited to start this book and I think I will start it tonight at least um, try to read a chapter um, build wealth retire early and live the life of your dreams so I'm hoping that this is something great for me i see they have some great reviews on this book so yeah i will let you guys know what i think of it but i will actually write that here as well And then we have a, my desires. You can write down what your desires are. You can write down what your intentions are. And you guys know this is the monthly budget planner. Then we have our monthly manifestations. You can write what you, you can write your goals for, you know, your home, relationship, finances, health, travel, spiritual, family, lifestyle, and career. And then your paycheck tracker this is where you would do your breakdown and i actually redid a few sections on this page um because i was i guess i was in a hurry i don't know i wasn't paying attention but i did leave a few things off of this page but i did make some changes to those and my cash tracker breakdown i also put in weekly expenses for each week and then we have another cash tracker, your cash stuffing tracker, your weekly expenses. I have five weeks of the weekly expense, expenses in each month. And for the paycheck tracker, this particular book is for bi-weekly, but I did put three paycheck trackers for each month and three cash stuffing trackers for each month and another weekly expenses and you all know we're gonna have to dump it don't put down our month and then we have our debt tracker here and then our monthly close out and then we go into our next month now we do have a book for weekly our weekly paid um so it's, it's in a different color. That's the only thing. It's in a different color. And I think I have um, weekly on here. It'll be on there which one it is. If it's bi-weekly, weekly. And then, and then we will be working on a monthly as well. But in the back, I have one extra sheet. Is where we would do our yearly overview. So you would just write down your balance is where you started for the month and then where you ended, what you paid off, what you saved, and your donations. So you can write that up and then you can keep it on one page, you know, just to do a, a quick glance. But like I said, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And also that notification bell. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think of our new book. And as always, be blessed, Queenies.